Today on the Titan, we're going to clean up the door sill there, and I'm going to be using a bed liner type spray from an aerosol can. And what I've gone ahead is I've removed the trim piece that was running along here. I've masked off the area. I've also sprayed some degreaser along here, um, hosed it off, and wiped it off really well. We will degrease it again after sanding. So let's get a good look at what we're trying to fix up. So right here, it's all scuffed. It's starting to bu rust bubble. We'll get some bed liner on there and that will protect that. And let's go through the remaining steps. So in order for the, the new materials to stick, you need to scuff it up. So we're gonna sand, I'm gonna use this hand sander. It's a 200 get paper on here. And you also wanna get all the rust off to back to bare metal. So the goal isn't really to remove the paint, it's just to scuff it up. Uh, but you do wanna get all these rust bubbles off. And they're coming, a little bit more, they'll be gone. And what you can't get with the uh, with a powered sander, you can do by hand. I've got a little seam in here. I have to scuff up by hand. So with the sanding done, you can take a uh, microfiber cloth, some alcohol. Let's remove any remaining grease or dust. Give that a good wipe down. Looks like we've got all the rust. Make sure everything's well masked. You may want to pick some of your masking that you've damaged with the sander. Nice straight lines. Put some new stuff on if you have to. So because we have bare metal here, we're going to prime. Um, you could put the liner right on the scuffed paint but we've done gone through the paint some spots so we're going to prime it all nice even coats and two coats of primer one more coat of primer Arms dry, I can put the stuff on. So this stuff does come out pretty thick in a very narrow spray pattern. That's what I'm using. Um, not sure if I like it yet or not, but uh, we'll give it some time to dry and uh, I'll let you know. Let's get our second coat on. And it seems to have more texture the further away you are, but the texture seems a lot smoother than the Raptor liner you used before. I was hoping this was going to be like the Raptor liner. At the end, we'll give a, a comparison to the Raptor liner. Okay, let's see if you can see this. I'm not too sold on this product. Um, I don't think it was quite what I was expecting. And one of the issues is when you're taking off the masking. And I tried taking it off when it was wet. And also when it's supposed to be fully dry. But it sticks to the tape and it stretches and peels the edges. So it leaves a, you can see that the edge just peels up. It's not clean. It doesn't leave a clean edge at all. And uh, I'm not really happy with how this turned out either. 
So I was expecting it to be like the Raptor liner, and it's not. You can see it's pretty dull, and it doesn't have much texture. Um, whereas the Raptor liner is more shiny and has more texture. It's a harder finish. This, this is pretty soft. This is like a, it's almost like a rubber ice. Yeah, this was advertised to be a bed liner. Um, let's compare it to the Raptor that I've got on on the rest of the truck. So about a year ago, I did some Raptor liner and that was with the air gun. Um, we mixed the two bottles of stuff together and spray it out. And I did this. It's hard, it's textured, it's kind of shiny. It's held up really well. I also did the wheel center caps because those were chrome. Those have been good. Uh, I did the grills. No complaints about those. I also did the skid plate, which turned out really well. I'm really happy with that. So I'm not too happy with this um, product that I did the door sill with. I, I wish it was more like the Raptor liner. And if I were to do it again, I would use the Raptor liner instead. So just a little update on the door sill. I was able to get the overspray off with some rubbing alcohol and a microfiber towel. So that is awesome. I also had a little oops there that I've touched up with uh, just some paint. So hopefully when that dries you won't notice that. And this stuff has hardened up since uh, since I put it on. It's, it's cured for a couple days now and it is now hard. It was soft for quite a while, but uh, it's hard. So I am happy with that. It's still a bit dull. Um, and I think I could still chip it with my fingernail, but it's not soft like it was before. Um, one thing I am going to do though is uh, see if I can make it a little shinier. So what I've got done is I added some Meguiar's Black and that looks a lot better. It looks like it matches the truck a lot better. So if you like this video, Please give a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and thanks for watching.